I was recently watching a wonderful typography video tutorial on lynda.com titled The 33 Laws of Typography by Julie Butler. Three of the laws discussed hyphens, n dashes, and m dashes. Law 26 tells us to connect thoughts using m dashes. Julie tells us the m dash is not on the keyboard, but Windows users can insert one by pressing the Alt key and typing 0151. Here is an example of a sentence with a connected thought from Grammarist.com. See the longer EM dash? Law 27 says to show ranges using N dashes. Like the M dash, we can insert an N dash by pressing the Alt key and typing 0150. Here's an example of a number range from Grammarist.com. See the slightly shorter N dash? This seems difficult to remember, especially if you don't use these characters a lot. Since Windows is all about a visual user interface, I thought, there has to be a visual approach to inserting these characters. Just as I suspected, there are ways. Click the Insert tab, click the Symbols button, click More Symbols, and select the Special Characters tab. There they are, right at the top of the list. The keyboard shortcuts are also listed. Press Alt and Control and the minus sign to insert an M dash. Press Control and the minus sign to insert an N dash. In the example below, hyphens with spaces have been typed. I'm going to delete them and insert an M dash. We can even make it easier to insert these special characters by recording the shortcut keystrokes as a macro and adding the command to run it to the quick access toolbar and ribbon. I can add the same macro to a button on the ribbon. Right click on the ribbon, select Customize the Ribbon. You can make a new group on the Insert tab, rename the new group, switch to your list of macros, add the macro to your new group, and rename the button. I can use the new buttons to insert my dashes instead of going through the Symbols dialog box. I was glad to see that there are easier ways to use these characters than by pressing the Alt key and four numbers.